Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 22, and this is war number 8, and we're going up against an alliance called Legends of Gladiators. Uh, we knew that this war was going to be tough, alright? Now, first thing you should notice is that I'm going in here with a different team. I'm going in with my 6-star Corvus, who's unduped, rank 2. I'm going in with a five-star rank five Black Widow Clairvoyant, and I'm going in with Gladiator Hulk. I used to use Gladiator Hulk all the time when I took a path where he could get face me. Uh, but as you see here, I'm taking path three now. Now, last war, I also took path three, but they didn't have any defenders, really. You know, I had one defender, so it wasn't really a good test of, you know, who I'd be facing on this path. So I'm still feeling out, you know, who I should bring. Now, before the war started, I was asked to bring a counter, not just for my path, but for Terax, as well as the second mini, which was Iron Man Infinity War. All right, so I looked over my path, and I'm like, okay, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and don't ask me what happened there, I don't know. Um, but Black Widow Clairvoyant seemed to be a good option both for Terax and for clearing the pack. I brought in Corvus because I saw that not only is he a great option for Iron Man Infinity War, but I saw that I could pick up a mission or two along the way. All right, I haven't used Corvus in Alliance War in a long time, so I'm a little rusty, but... I can't wait until I can rank three him. All right, so uh, we got Longshot down. I fought a little bit nervously because Longshot, if you push him to a special two, you can easily get wrecked. Now, one strategy I could do when fighting against Longshot uh, with Black Widow Clairvoyant is to cycle to her incinerate mode where she's incinerate immune. That will take away a lot of his damage if I do accidentally push him to a special two. But we didn't have any problem, except for that one little, don't know what it was, uh, but got smacked up. But we got through, and you saw at the end I cycled to the blood and uh, got a little bit of my health back. So next up, we're fighting Warlock. And this is one of the missions that I was talking about uh, that I could pick up. So I'm fighting with Corvus here, and I use Corvus all the time in Alliance Quest. Uh, that's my five star that's uh, awakened, so he has that immunity. But this Corvus doesn't, but the reason that I still brought him is that that really doesn't matter so much when you are in Alliance War. Uh, that immunity doesn't really come into play a lot uh, because... Uh, even if you time out, it's going to be a loss. So you could time out and save, you know, Corvus in the end, you know, if he's like really low in health or something like that. But I didn't plan to do any of that. Okay. So we got Warlock down and now I have one mission. Now my alliance mate uh, is going to take this um, hit monkey. Uh, like I said, we discussed this before we went in uh, and we had the assignments given to us. And of course, if we felt that these weren't good, we can speak up and, and uh, say, well, you know, I might want to do something different, you know, but everything was OK for me. But then when I go to section two, right there is where that Terax was. He was the reason that I brought in Gladiator Hulk. So I practiced a little bit with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and she can do the fight. I wasn't really that comfortable with fighting uh, him with her. But then I saw a video where uh, Gladiator Hulk was fighting against Terax, and he was getting face me. I went, oh, ho, ho. Gladiator Hulk gets face me against Terax? Okay, yes. So that's why I decided to go in with Gladiator Hulk, because I figured he was probably the best option for that Terax that I had. All right. Um, but 
One of my alliance mates took the Terax, so I could have brought in someone else other than Gladiator Hulk, like Nick Fury, but it is what it is. Uh, so now uh, I'm facing Guardian. He's also uh, tech, but I already have a tech mission from uh, with Corvus because I took that Warlock. But I do remember Guardian also auto-blocking. And while you don't really want an auto block in war because, you know, you might get, I believe he, he will do a parry. I'm not sure if he does parry, actually. Um, I mean, a stun on the uh, auto block there. Uh, but that's, that was my thinking going in, was that he would auto block and then I could get that mission as well. So when I scouted my path out, that's what I was thinking about. All right. And remember, this is the, my really my first time on this path um even though last war was technically my first they didn't put a lot of um defenders so i didn't really get good practicing all right so you see here everything is going well that shock doesn't matter for corvus uh he actually heals up from it and i got a little bloodlust and i didn't even bother trying to get him to auto block so i could get another mission had the plan, but forgot in the heat of the moment. But we got him down. So now you may notice something, uh, and this, it happens. One of my alliance mates, they went to the wrong path, so they doubled up one of the paths, which means we're going to have to fight that Iron Man Infinity War noted up. So if you watched... Um, you know, I was looking there and I'm like, okay, what are the nodes and what are the links and which one do I want to keep up? I did that before I chose this path. Now, I want you to see what happened there. You can rewind that. I normally punish her easily. This time I went to punish and she parried me. I don't get it. I don't get how she was that quick, but I punished her other times. See this? Boom. No parry there. So I was kind of upset with that. Um, luckily with Clairvoyant, you know, you get your health back uh, if you're in that blood mode. All right, so here, I'm very nervous at this point because this Morningstar, I don't know what she's got going on. You know, a fast recovery, you know, parry. Maybe I was a little late, I, I don't know, okay? Um, but those kind of things tend to happen in war when they don't happen anywhere else. So maybe the AI is more finely tuned, you know, but this time I said, let me just keep going. I stay in blood because uh, Morningstar has a chance to bleed you when you get hit. And in blood, Black Widow Clairvoyant is immune. All right, so here we go. Now, I probably should have um, not hit her as much because I almost took her out there because I want to get the full hit of the special two so I can do more damage and heal up more. Okay, but we got her down and our health is not looking that bad. Now I have her as a six star and she is awakened. Now that awakened ability doesn't really matter all that much to me, but uh, if I do decide to take her up, she might help my prestige since she's already awakened and she's an awesome champion i love her all right so now we're looking this and things didn't go quite the way i would have liked okay um i know how to fight iron man infinity war and this fight should have been actually easier but i didn't notice something uh early on but watch my buffs and that will give you an idea of the plan that i had now i was looking at that sorry for the air server uh menus up here uh that's because i was doing something else i was trying to get done um i was trying to get some last minute arena grinding done and uh i was called because i asked them you know are we so we're gonna have to take this noted up we don't have backup over here, I wanted to make sure of that. Uh, and then finally, when he got back to me, you see my buffs were out 
And I had to, uh, he said, yeah, just go ahead and uh, fight him, noted, um, use, he told me to use uh, cosmic boost and everything, but as you'll see, uh, that didn't work out too well. Um, now, if that node had been different, those buffs would have helped, but you're gonna see, first of all, they weren't needed, and I could have done a lot better in this fight. All right, so we're just going in, and just look at the damage. That should tell you that I can chew him up. I only have one mission. If I had gotten the second mission, you know, it would have been even better, okay? So we're basically fighting him here the way we normally would. But look at my counters. See my counters going down to zero? That is suppressing my power. Remember we had the power gain or whatever, and now I'm below one bar of power. In order to reset that, I have to fire off a special, but I can't because the counters are zero, suppressing my power. And so now he's almost down and I'm looking up here and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I just ran out of charges. I'm like, all right, so this is gonna be a longer fight than I was expecting, but you know, I should be able to last long enough for that to come back around. And I did not see something important. When he fired off his special, I didn't notice the recoil damage he took. He's running suicides. So I could have just baited out specials and gotten him down, okay? I didn't have to actually fight him, you know, just what I was doing here, I could have just kept baiting the specials out, but I didn't, okay? Now there was an auto block right there, all right? So now I'm thinking, ooh, an auto block, and he's below, um, you know, the threshold, so I need to get, a, you know, a heavy off. So I did this, went for the heavy, boom. Got my second um, mission. So I'm like, oh yeah. You know, so I just need one more heavy and that happened. So that was my fault. I was a little bit slow on the heavy there. Uh, my timing was just a little bit off and, and I felt it uh, uh, before it happened. Like I said, I, I usually know when I'm the one that messed up. And I'm sitting there going, oh, couldn't be mad at anybody but myself on that one. You know, um, this was one of the first fights of the morning uh, or afternoon. I think it was early afternoon. I was trying to do the arena to warm up so that, you know, I was a little bit more alert. But what happened is that I was waiting for, you know, some uh, uh, further direction and I fell asleep. And so when I woke back up, I was still a little out of it. And I was just like, oh my goodness, no. Um, because I had wanted to finish off the arena and I needed to do, you know, Alliance War fights. So I'm just like, okay, well, I got two missions on Corvus, but now he's dead. And so he's not going to do me any good. So I, I, now I had been told that I had backup on this. You see that there's two uh, guys on path one. And I had been told, yeah, just go ahead and one of the other guys would back me up. And so I said, okay. So I went in, I did the best I could. And then I said, all right, guys, you know, he's almost gone. Just, you know, someone just finish him off. And the message came back for me to either revive my Corvus or go in with one of my other champions and finish him off because we still had a few um mini bosses on mini boss island and so i was basically given the understanding that i needed to do this because they're going to be handling the mini bosses on mini boss island and so i'm like okay well i'll get this guy down you know no problem because i remembered he was running suicides which i didn't see until it was too late so we got him down no problem as you can see, we've got um, three minis up. And so I'm looking over this and I'm just like, okay. Um, now, I waited because I was told, you know, that's what they were gonna do, they were gonna go in. 
And when I got here and I was back into the arena finishing up, I got the message saying, take out Doom and um, you can also take out uh, Dragon Man. And I'm like, okay. And then they were going to take the other uh, mini, um, Cosmic Ghost Rider. I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, so I came back. And someone had already, or maybe a couple of someone's, had already almost taken him out. Okay, so I boosted up, and I'm like, all right, this shouldn't be difficult at all. I just need to remember not to parry. That's what I needed to remember. So I'm sitting here like this, and the reason it's taking so long is that I'm saying over and over in my mind, no parry, no parry. Uh, because I have to remember that I do it almost unconsciously Okay, so you see here. I decided to do an intercept instead. No parry Okay, fortunately he was almost gone and we were able to get him down pretty easily now this next fight I was concerned with because I Wasn't sure if I could deal with his power gain Okay, and uh, stubborn so I'm just like, okay, he's got spry, he's got limber. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go in with Gladiator Hulk. I don't think it's going to work out well, but this should let me uh, get a little bit of uh, practice on him, warm up, and as much damage as I can do will be all good. Okay, and you see that I'm just tapping him because of the node. I'll take degen damage if I don't hit him. Okay, and he's already got me in a corner, you know, and I'm just like, wow, this guy is just crazy. All right, so we've got him. I'm just hitting into his block at this point to get him away from me so that I'm not backed into the corner so much because he will back you in the corner easy. Okay, and then I pushed him a little bit too far that time, and then he got his special three. Uh, I should have continued to bait out his special one. That would have given me a little bit more leeway and I would have been able to get him down a little bit better but now I'm worried here because I know I'm gonna be in the corner and I am look at this so I just fired off my special knowing I was gonna go down but what else could I do just basically spit in his eye you know do a little bit more damage before I go down so that was like okay all right you know didn't take a whole lot of damage off of him but we got some damage off of him and at this point by the way guys we already know we've lost this war, okay? So we're not trying to use up tons and tons of items. But you see here, I only have one level four health potion. The reason being, uh, there are some people that are pushing for a harder go in war. This wasn't the plan going into the season, so I didn't stockpile a lot of health potions. And I've actually used up health potions in... Um, some other fights all right so my plan here was experimental so black widow clairvoyant has some power control on her special too and i'm like okay i don't know how well it's gonna work i've never tried this strategy before and i definitely didn't fight against dragon man all right so this is a first for me here and i'm looking and i'm like wait a minute She's actually doing very well. This is actually a very viable strategy. So I'm just looking on in amazement as I'm fighting. I'm like, yeah, look at that. She's nullifying his power gain. She's putting a buff immunity on him. And because she's in the poison mode, she's controlling his power very nicely. And he's um, immune to poison. She's gaining power very, very nicely. I was very impressed, okay? After this fight, I was very, very impressed. So see here, I don't even have to worry about baiting out his special one. So I just went, got to my special two, fired it off. Bait out his special. Even if we had to bait out his special two, wouldn't have been too bad. Now you saw what I did there. I actually waited because he has limber and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to attack him when uh, I parried him. So I parried and then I just waited. Then he attacked me. Then I countered him. 
Okay, if I had tried to attack him, he would have wrecked me. But we got him down. Not that bad in 86 hits. I actually really like Black Widow Clairvoyant. And uh, I just may take my six star up if I do get the opportunity. All right, but that's going to do it. Uh, you can see here they are now getting on uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. They did get him down. And then they attacked the boss. Uh, I didn't uh, get a chance to jump in on the boss. Uh, they handled that and got him down just fine. All right, so in a minute, we're going to come back. And you're going to find out how this war ended, which we already know how it's going to end. But be right back. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. No surprise. But we did get all three of our bosses down. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.